No, it was, it was a good day today. I uh, got in a good warm up, got down here early, and got on one of those first buses, and I uh, was able to get over there, get in a little little swim warm up. Um, swim was good. The guys went out hard. Uh, Hunter and uh, John pushed the pace pretty much the whole swim, so it was nice to have uh, have some good swimmers here. Um, split up the field real quick, and then. Uh, Got to T1 and just tried to hammer through there. Came out of T1 in the lead and tried not to look back. I mean, the the less you can see of Andy and Matt in a day, the better your day is going. So uh, it was good. I mean, tried to disappear that first lap of the bike. Um, There's a lot of out of sight, out of mind on this course. So tried to hammer the hills and uh, play to my strengths and did a pretty good job of that, I think. I don't know what the time was as far as a bike split versus previous years, but it, it felt pretty good. Um, the only problem with not not them being able to see you, you can't see them. So it was, uh, didn't know what the lead was coming off the bike, but um, thought I put in a pretty good effort and then uh, ran well enough to hold on. Um, certainly nothing special on the 10K, but it was solid enough. So um, psyched to defend a title. It's a tough thing to do, and uh, especially when you got guys like Andy and Matt chasing you, it's that much tougher. So um, real happy with the day. It's all guys I knew going in at least, uh, you know, knew who was who was a good swimmer. Was like Hunter Lucy's young kid, great swimmer. Um, and I think he'll probably win in a lot of swims here in the near future. So, you know, good to know know the guys in the field, um, take advantage of their strengths. Like I say, they set the fat pace in the water. So able to sit on Andy's feet and he was with John. And uh, no, there was no real surprises, but that's the beauty of coming back to a race that you've done before. I mean, you know the course, and you don't have to worry about getting lost when the lead vehicle disappears. Or, uh, you know, there's a good crowd here. It's nice to actually go out and back and then come back through the uh, the transition area. It could be a little congested at times, but they do a pretty good job of opening it up for us and then, uh, you know, getting the fans in the middle. It's the perfect time to have a little cheering going on, get you back going, because... Uh, the other side of the out and back is a whole lot hotter, and I swear they keep moving that cone farther and farther down every year. So, um, yeah, no, it's, it's a great venue. Uh, it's a great race, and Tri Rock did a good job of putting it on. So, no, no complaints, no surprises. Uh, the new swim buoys were a cool addition, I think. Uh, I think especially for the uh, the age groupers, and in particular the newer age groupers, having the, the distances marked out is a big, big advantage. Um, and then uh, obviously the music on the course is kind of cool. Every uh, every mile mile marker on the run has some speakers in it, so it's never hurts since we can't actually run with music to get a get a little beat in your head. Um, but no, I mean on the whole they basically took a really good race and continued to make it a good race, and that was you couldn't ask for anything more. So now they did a good job this year.